We have the best high-end PC build you can build with the Intel Core i5-12400. Here are the specs. CPU, Intel Core i5-12400F. CPU cooler, NZXT Kraken X63 RGB. Motherboard, MSI Meg Z690 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. RAM, Kingston Fury Beast 16GB. Storage, Samsung 980 Pro 1TB. Video card, EVGA XC3 Ultra RTX 3080 Ti. PC case, Cooler Master Master Case H500P. Power supply, Seasonic Focus GX850. To start things off, the situation is already a bit complicated here. For example, you might be wondering whether the i5-12400 will hold up when paired with the RTX 3080 tie. Well, if you're playing games at 1080p, there will be a bit of a bottleneck. However, no one in their right mind is buying an RTX 3080 tie to play games at 1080p. It's rather likely you'll be playing at 1440p or 4K, possibly with ray tracing enabled. If that's the case, then you're more GPU bound, and bottlenecking is a non-issue. Since this is a higher-end build, we can spend a bit more on aesthetics. The Kraken X63 RGB cooler is a great example. This is a 280 millimeter cooler that features two ARGB fans and even an RGB pump. The cooling performance performance is excellent overall and so are the aesthetics. It adds a lot of visual flair to the build. For the motherboard, we decided to upgrade to the Z690 chipset with the MSI Meg Z690 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. You get three full-length PCIe x16 slots, four M2 slots, wireless networking, and a good amount of connectivity options. Both memory and CPU overclocking support are excellent, making this one of the best Z690 motherboards on the market. It also happens to be a great option as a motherboard for the 12900K. So to take advantage of this DDR5 motherboard, you need fast RAM. We recommend a 32 gigabyte kit in a previous guide, but you'll want to stick with 16 gigs for this one. The Kingston Fury Beast kit is an excellent option. You get all the benefits of DDR5 without the ridiculous cost of admission. For storage, we went with a PCIe Gen 4 drive this time around. We recommend going with the Samsung 980 Pro as it's by far one of the fastest PCIe Gen 4 SSDs on the market. If you deal with large file sizes all the time, then this is a must-have for you. Now let's get to the main attraction. For the GPU, we decided to go with the EVGA XC3 Ultra RTX 3080 tie. Not only is this a great looking card, but the performance lives up to the expectations. If you want to play games natively at 4K without DLSS, then this is the card to get. Furthermore, if you haven't experienced ray tracing yet, then this is going to be quite the upgrade overall. While pairing a budget processor with a high-end GPU doesn't make much sense, it goes to show just how well the 12400F can perform when put on the spot. For the PC case, we decided to go with the Cooler Master Master Case H500P Mesh. This case features two gigantic 200 millimeter fans in the front. These fans sit behind a mesh front panel, so you can already imagine the excellent airflow for this case. It has no problems housing gigantic GPUs and might even make them look smaller considering the sheer size of this thing. This chassis is huge, but truly a sight to behold. A case befitting the specs of this build. Finally, we went with the old reliable for the power supply. Seasonic has never let us down, and their power supplies are our go-to recommendations when you need something reliable. With Focus GX 850, you're getting 850 watts of power, an 80 plus gold rate and a fully modular design. It does not get much better than this. The idea behind this build was to showcase what is possible with the Intel Core i5-12400. While this budget CPU is intended for mid-range hardware, it performs well even when you pair it with something as ridiculous as an RTX 3080 Ti. Of course, most people are better off pairing it with an RTX 3070 or 3080. That's the more practical and sensible choice if you want better value. However, if you go with an RTX 3080 Ti, the processor can handle it without breaking a sweat. The estimated cost for this PC build is $2,200.